once we've taken care of our site structure, our peripheral information, and our ads, which we both took care of both at the same time, next we're going to want to customize our home page. Not always, but frequently, you want to customize the type of information that's displayed on your Drupal site's home page. There are multiple ways you can easily alter this display. One way is to customize the front page view. Just like the views we created for articles, reviews, and even our editor's choice list, this front page display of information is actually a view. And we can edit this just like we edit any other view. If we go to structure, scroll down and click views, if we scroll down a little bit more, we'll see front page. We can click edit here. And now we can edit this view once again, just like any other view. We can change the way information is sorted. We can change the filter criteria to only include maybe articles, for instance. Or we can change the format, the type of information that's displayed. So instead of showing teasers, we could show full content, even though that would be a little bit weird. Or we can change this altogether, and instead of showing a type of content, we could just show fields, similar to how we did with our table. Let's close this out though. We're not going to use this method, but it is a perfectly fine method for customizing your home page. Another way to customize the way your home page looks is to point the home page to something else entirely and not even use a view at all. So let's create a new page. Let's go to content. I'm going to add a piece of content. We'll add a basic page. And we'll call this our front page info page. For the body, let's head over to blindtextgenerator.com and just grab maybe like the first 40% of this text or just really any amount is fine. Go back to your site and we'll just paste that in the body and click save and publish. So now we have some text that we want to show up on the front page. The first step to doing this is to go to configuration, site information, and here right under front page we can change the page that the front page points to. Node is the default front page, shows the view that we were just looking at. If we go back very quickly, we can see this is node whatever this number is. It's going to be different for you for me, this is node slash 134. It's probably going to be something a little bit smaller for you. So just copy everything that comes after your domain here. So the slash node slash whatever number you have. Then we'll go back to configuration, site information. And here, for default front page, paste in that. Click Save Configuration. Now, if we go home, we're taken to this front page info page. Now, things aren't still quite where we want them to be. Usually, on a home page like this, where you just have like sort of a splash of information to greet visitors, you don't want a title for that page per se, because it makes it look sort of like an article. And that's not quite what we're going for. So we can actually change this in blocks. If we go to structure, block layout, if you go to content, where the main content of any given page is, notice the first thing you see here is the page title. We can actually disable this on a case-by-case -case basis if we want to, since it's a block. Let's click configure, and let's say we're going to restrict this on the pages that it is displayed on. We're going to change this to hide for the listed pages. So now any page that we list here, the title will be hidden on. To denote the front page, you type front in angle brackets. Let's save that. And then go back to site again. And that's looking a little bit better.
what if on just the front page, we want a nice sort of like a splash image to show up right here. Not a full hero image, but just something that only shows up on the front page just to draw visitors' attention. And then other parts of the site look a little bit more strictly structured. To do that, we're going to go back to blocks. We'll go to structure, block layout, and let's go to demonstrate the block regions. We can see that above the content, above the breadcrumbs, we have a highlighted section and a featured top section that sort of, if you're familiar with Bootstrap, is sort of in like a Jumbotron type form. Let's go with featured top for the region that we're going to place this image in. So first we need to create the block that we want. So we're going to go to custom block library. We're going to add a custom block. This will be a basic block. And let's say uh, this is just going to be a front page splash image. There's probably a better term for it, but that's fine. And we'll add an image here. You can pick really any file that you have to work with. If you have an image that's very wide and not very tall, that would be best. I cut this fretboard image out of one of my photographs, which I'm going to use. Alternative text, let's just go with fretboard. And we'll align this to the center. Click Save. And Save again. Alternatively, we could have created a custom block that strictly exists just for images like this. And we would remove the body and have just an image field. That would probably be the better way to do it, especially if we plan on having multiple blocks that we want to maybe switch in and out sometimes. But this will take care of it just the same, and it's a pretty easy way to get it done. So now if we go back to block layout, we scroll down. Again, we're going to add this to the featured top region. We're going to click place block. We're going to do the front page splash image. And make sure you deselect display title. That would be a little bit awkward if we had this nice big image on the front page and above it it said front page splash image. Um, on pages, we're going to show only for the listed pages. And again, we're going to add front here. So this will only show on the front page. Click Save. Scroll down, click Save Blocks, then go back to Site. And we have, <laughs> admittedly, not a fantastic image, but we have an image that stands out nonetheless. Usually you would want something that draws visitors' attention a little bit more. And then we can see this a little bit better also if we log out for a second. This is what it'll look like to everyday visitors that are not content creators or administrators. We have an image up here, and we have some text down here, and usually you'd have a bit more stuff filling out this page. But now our home page is a bit customized. We could also remove these blocks from the home page if we wanted to, just to have one big page that doesn't have any distractions, just an image to catch the attention, and a little bit of text about the site. But if we go to any other part of the site, we go back to the usual setup of things. No image up here. And the main content area is whatever the piece of content or view is that we're looking at. Keep in mind, these are just a few ways to customize your home page. You can do things like create a front page template and edit it. Since as of the recording of this video, Drupal 8 was only released a few days ago, a lot of the modules that allow you to customize the way information is displayed on your site, a lot of those aren't quite ready for production yet. So in the future, you'd also be able to use panels like Page Manager and Display Suite and Panels to create customized layouts only for certain pages on your site. But if you're just getting started off and you want to keep things simple, the ways we've gone over here will work perfectly fine to customize the homepage of your website.